speaking of dating, see, I don't know if you can participate in this one. What's that? Okay, so I saw an article talking about nearly half of adults say dating has gotten harder for people in the last 10 years. I ain't worried about that. Yeah, you've been married for over 10 years. Yes, I have. So I would like to ask the people in the chat, all three of y'all, has dating been harder for you in the past 10 years? It's weird because dating has gotten a lot easier for me in the past 10 years. Oh, I can only imagine. Bro, I'll say this, and yes. I'm not out there. But when I'm outside these venues I'm working at and I'm having conversations and listening to the conversations these mm -hmm. people, these young people are having, bruh, what? I, I wouldn't want to, I don't even, all right, so the English language is one thing. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, you know, I can understand everybody out there having a good time. You know, we, you know, you little saucy, you been drinking, but some of this shit, they ain't even talking regular words. What are they saying? You know what I mean? It ain't on game, man. Everything oh, on game, man. No, no. Everything slime. You know what I mean? Like everything on game, folk. Yo, what's killing me is hearing these young niggas calling a girl bro. That shit really that's fucks me. Point, like it's the line. Besides, and I don't even want to start critiquing the, the young generation, but I know it's hard. I know dating has got to be harder because everybody's mind state. It's not on nothing. You know what I mean? It's not on nothing. Uh, I'll, I'll say positive. Yes, that's the best way I can word it. Without being offensive. It's weird because <laughs> we have more accessibility now. So you would think dating would be easier. But I think the accessibility ruins it. Yes, because it, it, there used to be a mystique to it. You know I mean, remember, like, you used to have to actually physically yeah. get up and go. Exactly. And put yourself. Like I tell, so I got people now, you know, I tell them the same thing. Like, man, fuck this internet shit. Yeah. You got to get out and go. Go yeah. amongst the people. Like, you can't, yeah. you can't feel anybody, anybody's energy or their vibe. Through the internet. You know what I mean? Like, it, that's impossible. To me, it's impossible, yo. Exactly. You know I, mean? I tell my people that all the time. Like, it's just, it's just different now, man. Okay. It looks like Branson has joined us in the chat. No snap. Dating is weird as fuck, but it is what it is. Which I I disagree. I can't say it is what it is. Why not? I, is, isn't it exactly that though? It, you, I, it, I think you got to control the narrative a little bit. No, so you want to be. You know what I want to do? Women want to control narratives. That that's the thing. As a man, you've got to lead. And I know women don't want to hear that because here's the weird thing: you say that to a woman, she's upset, but she doesn't want to lead. She wants to defer to a man. Most do. They, they they just gotta wait till they get a man first and then they wanna defer to him. But then but 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 until that time, you know, it's a different story. But the issue women definitely wanna control the narrative. That's what Branson says. That is true. Women do wanna control the narrative. But as a man you gotta control the relationship. But that's not the narrative. That's not the narrative. <laughs> And that's where it goes to choose oh, like, wisely. You see uh, what I'm saying? That's the difference. Like, so me being married, I could be like, yo, uh -huh. is it even worth? Is it even worth it? You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. is, it, is this even going to be worth it in the long? And it, whether it be the short run or the long run, it's about to be worth it. Yeah. Or should I just, you know, go with the do the right thing, go with the flow, or whatever? You see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, you choose your battles. Why? And that's the thing. So like something you're not gonna fall, you're not gonna fold on. Yeah, you're not gonna fold on everything. Yeah, yeah, you can't fold on everything. But yo, know, I think what it is is people think they have more options available than they really got. So when because you're of the internet, yeah, because of the internet. I mean, yeah, the internet plays a big part in the uh, discord we have going on between men and women. I, I'm Social very much aware of that. Everybody. Social media has changed everything. It's made women more basic. You know, it's weird because you see everybody has the same list of demands. Every woman wants a man making six figures, be six feet tall. And I ain't going to say the other six because that's for women to discuss. They want a man with a 600 credit score. That's the other six. No, that's that. I know. Because some... <laughs> 
Rule number one. Yeah. You can't date a man with a better uh, credit score than your baby father. That's that's just how it goes. Six, huh? Huh? Yeah, that's the, that's the third six. So some women don't know how to pick and choose their battles. They want to battle over everything. I agree, Branson. They want to. I have dated women that were just straight combative. I knew my last relationship was over when I got into a shouting match for putting the glasses back in the cupboard the wrong way. What, upside down? Over upside there? down. That's Apparently, that's she cool. likes the open side up. So, uh, yeah. It, it turned into... It, that's it, really that big a deal, though? It it wasn't a it's not a big deal to me. It became a big deal to her. So I said I got kids. They do that shit with the shit I got. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Keep in mind, this is after I cleaned the kitchen for her. So I'm sitting there like, yo, kitchen's clean. I knew she wanted to start some shit because she's looking at the counters looking for smudges and shit. She couldn't find anything. Then she opens the covers. Now, the last time we had had a previous issue of me putting the glasses in the wrong area, that was a shouting match. This time, she opened and saw the glasses in the right area, but they were open side up or open side down, I, as I was raised to do, bitch. Um, besides that, she's like, why are my glasses upside down? I said, well, just flip them over. There's only six of them. She's like, you don't understand. I said, oh, I understand. I just cleaned this goddamn kitchen. You can flip these goddamn glasses over. And she's like, no, you're ruining my kitchen. I said, I'm not ruining your kitchen. I just cleaned your kitchen for you. And apparently the only issue is these glasses being in the wrong area. And then it just turns into a clusterfuck from there because she kept talking and talking about how I ruined her kitchen. And then finally I said, what? Cupboard that have a door on it to open and close. Yeah, the cupboards, you know, just the cupboard. So if you closed it, it would still be an issue. No, she's talking about how I put the glasses. No, 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 but I'm saying if you close it, she can't see it. Then yeah, it would still piss her off. Yeah, because she she was looking to start. She opened every cupboard, inspecting me after I cleaned her kitchen for her. That's why I said I couldn't. You you see why I'm not with her. Major. Exactly. So then after that, she started bitching and moaning. And it was it turned into like a Tonight Show monologue of just 10 minutes of her ranting about how I'm ruining her kitchen because I put six glasses upside down or in her cupboard. So I said, well, and let me try to end the argument by flipping the glasses over for you. No, that's the exact opposite. You know, uh, if you talk softer, they have to be quiet to hear you. No. If, they do. I mean, that's... That, that's how that goes. Yeah, but the, the whole point... in the heat of the moment, I know that's not how... That's not how it works. I mean, I, I know, because uh, what I did... Because here's the thing about a lot of women. You you can't out-talk me. You can out-talk a lot of these other niggas out here. I'm louder than you. I will, I, I'm will. i louder than, than a lot of women when we argue. So I'm not worried about her overtaking me because my voice is easily louder than... Well, that's a positive trait to have. So. That's not a positive trait to have. Yes, it is. Actually, it probably is. Because I got it, kids. I know. Yeah. When I speak, they it, come running. Exactly. They definitely come running. Yeah. So those glasses had to be destroyed because they were the bane of our relationship. <laughs> so you only left with half. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't help it. That was the prenup. I couldn't help it. it like, yo. It was literally 15 fucking minutes. It took me less time to clean the kitchen. She, I could have cleaned the kitchen, dirtied it up, and cleaned it again. She was becoming a habitual button pusher. That's that's exactly what it was, and that's why I left. I said, I'm turning toxic, and I'm not a toxic person, but. You guys have to deal with shit like that. Exactly, so that's why. Health is important, man, like. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. Mental health is important. Mental health is important. I be stressing that shit, dog. Like, oh, that's why I left. I was like, yo, I can't do this shit. I'm turning into a toxic nigga. We gonna be Bobby Brown and Whitney in another month if I stay. Who you gonna help if you can't help yourself? Exactly. That's why I left. It, oh, it, it, OCD chicks. She wasn't OCD. She was just a ball buster. You don't know how many times I came into that kitchen and it was dirty as fuck. Uh, Branson like ball busting. I'm sure. Uh, between a man and a woman 
Uh, no, nah, so I can't do that. But that's why dating's been dating has gotten easier for me because I'm getting older and better. I don't care anymore. So it's like a streamline now. I just stop caring. I go to dates and I enjoy. I go to dates for me. I enjoy myself when I go. That's why I say I want to go to a restaurant. So I've never like ate at the the visual presence of them now. Or are you real? You know what I mean? Like, what? That when you go on dates, like you are. Can you tell by like just the visual aspect, or you can tell by like is it the the way they dress? Is it the way that they it's communicate? The way, it's the way you carry yourself. Like I can. Like, here's one thing I haven't been able to, I'm able to filter out hood rats now. All you got to do is ask them simple questions. Like, oh, uh, uh, was the way Monique handled the D.L. Hughley situation correct? And if she sides with Monique, you know she's a hood chick and she's toxic. That's a red flag out the gate. That's a red flag out the gate. And if you go, oh, Will Smith should have handled it like that with Chris Rock, she's a red flag out the gate. She's like, oh God, I feel so bad for Amber Heard. They're like, oh, red flag. So it's very easy to figure out. Uh, Telltale signs. Yeah, it's, you just ask simple questions. It's easy. So all you got to do is ask her how she feels about certain events. We know our hood radish. You hear that new short song by that uh, hood rat chick, that one that looks like Tisha Campbell with Down syndrome? Uh, it's something about hood rats. Uh, her name is like Glorilla. I don't know if you've seen the video. Have I you? Have not, but what's okay. Song? It's a very. Ra- hook? I don't know. It's something about ratchets and not fucking with niggas. Because we don't. What get- happens is mm-hmm. you know, other people. I, I typically go find and book if they ain't too expensive. Oh, okay. That's what the people are into. Well, yeah. if you book her, don't show her this video where I'm calling her Tisha Campbell with Down syndrome, because then she's gonna charge you extra. She but yeah. I can't call it that because I don't even know what you're talking about stuff. Then I can't get go to the show, which I wouldn't want to. You wouldn't come anyway. Yeah, that that room would stink if it was full of hood rats and smell like glue and black and miles. Hey, and, man, we got a back door. Okay. Oh, okay. Keep fresh air coming in. Okay. Back. Yeah, there's something about hood rats, and they like to spray that cheap body perfume on them. That's another way to you find out. Away from these chicks, man. They got you fucked up. No, I don't mess with them. That's how. I, over the years, this, these are the things I look for and, and filter them out. So, like, but wouldn't it be too late by the time they pull up if you could smell that particular? Uh, well, I'm saying aroma or fragrance. Well, well, see, not every woman fits the characteristics of a hood rat. So sometimes they have a hood rat mentality, but they use proper English. So you know, if you approach a woman and she got on that cheap body perfume. She's a hood rat in sheep's clothing. So you've got to be cautious in how you approach. See, these are little telltale signs. You just ask her simple questions. Uh, you know, you ask her if she has kids. I got a, I got a question for you. What's You're up? out here. Yeah. Do you, first date or whatever. Yeah. Shorty's wearing Spanx. Is that your thing, the black workout pants? That's hood. That's hood radish. It is, right? Yeah, I'm like, what? there's nothing wrong with putting jeans on or a dress on and just meeting a nigga. You ain't got to do all no extra shit. Yeah. Because, yeah, I do judge women based on what they wear on the first date. I would think every man does if they're still out here dating. Yeah, you should. And I always open the door so I can scope that ass while you walk through the door. 